So I'll be talking about allocative efficiency. And basically, allocative efficiency is when the level of output that a society demands is produced by the firms in a market. In other words, um, that is when um, that is when the so in other words, allocative efficiency is achieved if the marginal benefit enjoyed by consumers is equal to the marginal cost faced by producers. So here we have um, the market for cookies. Uh, we can see that the marginal cost or the supply curve is sloping upwards um, and as society's resources become more and more scarce, um, as more and more cookies are being provided, the costs of production um, or the costs of providing the cookies increases. And here we have the marginal benefits curve, or in other words, the demands curve. And we can see that it's sloping downwards um, because as the more, the, the more cookies are consumed, the less additional happiness enjoyed by consumers um, there is. So at one point, um, the more cookies supplied simply uh, provides less happiness. Um, another way that we can show that um, this um, market is uh, has achieved allocative efficiency is by looking at uh, consumer and uh, producer surplus. So this uh, green triangle here is consumer surplus and um, this purple triangle here is producer surplus. So at the at the QE quantity equilibrium and PE price equilibrium, uh, we can see that it is the most efficient combination because consumer surplus and producer surplus are maximized um, most efficiently. In other words, at PE and QE, uh, here marginal cost is equal to marginal benefit. Okay, now let's look at an under allocation of resources still within the market for cookies. Um, we can see that the quantity has shifted from the quantity equilibrium to Q1, and we can see that um, <clears throat> that at Q1, um, the marginal benefit is greater than the marginal cost which means that resources are under allocated at Q1. Um, another way we can show this is by looking at um, the reduction in consumer surplus demonstrated here. And um, the market is inefficient because the increase in producer surplus uh, comes at an expense of consumers who enjoy a smaller area of consumer surplus. Um, so um, also we can tell that resources are under allocated because there is an area of welfare that is lost or uh, dead weight loss here. Um, so uh, society would be better off with more resources allocated to producing cookies. Um, so we have a welfare loss because of the disequilibrium. So possible reasons for um, the shift in quantity. Um, for example, uh, let's say that uh, the market for cookies, um, I'm selling cookies in my neighborhood and I sell it at $10. But, uh, and perhaps I only have a cup, and I only have a couple, uh, I have uh, this demand for it. So that would mean that I would have a surplus of cookies because perhaps only one or two people would buy cookies at the price of $10. This would encourage other firms to jump into the market and then sell it perhaps at $8 or you know, uh, $7 until maybe it's at $5 where um, we come back to an, uh, um, a market equilibrium and therefore um, we regain the allocative efficiency and there will be no um, dead weight loss uh, or sorry yeah yeah there will no, be no welfare loss to society 
uh, it is important to realize that at um, at at uh, it's important to realize that um, for an over allocation allocation of resources, um, the the um, quantity would be could would shift the other way, and um, uh, in if this would happen, um, there would uh, marginal cost marginal cost would would be greater than marginal benefit, as opposed to the other way in um, under allocation of resources here. So, um, so this would mean that there would still be a dead weight loss to society. And um, if resources were over allocated towards producing cookies, and the consumers would still be made worse off um, because the total welfare is reduced, even though the quantity has increased. Um, so there would be too many cookies being provided, and that is why the marginal cost is high. I mean, um, yeah. <laughs>